Bramble. The Mountain King is a game that left me terrified and thrilled at the same time. The game, developed by Dimfrost, is a horror adventure that delves into Nordic fables and pits players against some truly nightmarish creatures. The game follows the story of Ola, a young boy who goes on a quest to save his sister Lilimore, who has been kidnapped by a troll. The opening scene of the game shows Ola and Lilimore exploring a dark forest and playing with a glowing stone. While the opening scene is atmospherically spooky, it also showcases Ola's childish curiosity and sets the tone for the rest of the game. As Ola embarks on his journey to save his sister, he encounters many creatures, some of which are friendly, while others are hostile. The entire story of Bramble, the Mountain King is told like a fairy tale, with a narrator detailing all the significant story moments. The fantasy elements of the game ring true during every moment, as Ola figures out what he must do to get to his sister. The larger narrative of the game highlights various Nordic fables, and while some of the creatures Ole encounters are friendly, most of them are trying to kill him. The game takes players through some tense encounters that had my heart racing, but it also balances those moments with moments of serenity as Ole makes his way through beautiful open fields. As the environments change, so does the folklore, and each area is capped off by a boss encounter that is different in its abilities and requirements to defeat. This keeps the entire game fresh, as you can't reuse tactics to defeat bosses. I must say that some of the boss encounters are nightmare-inducing, with extremely graphic and gory imagery. However, the game is relatively linear, with only a few collectibles to search for, and this was somewhat of a downer for me. Given that the world is so detailed, I couldn't help but want to explore it more. However, the stationary camera points you in the direction you need to go most of the time, and that's that. Still, the developers use this to their advantage, with some areas requiring you to use thoughtful means to progress. The game features a few different puzzles that hinder progression, but none of them will leave you stumped for too long. I enjoyed these moments only because I didn't have to worry about a troll eating me. Still, I wouldn't say there are a lot of puzzles. They are cleverly placed and never overused. Platforming is the most significant system used in Bramble, the Mountain King as players must navigate the fairy tale world. It's all rather straightforward, as the game typically points you in the direction you need to go. Still, each new area features some new element of gameplay that stretches Ola's skill set. During exploration, Ola can hold out his rock and use it to flashlight out, which has various effects. This is expanded on with the stone being able to shoot out a beam of light and, at times, turn into a sword. This constantly evolving arsenal keeps the adventure from becoming dull. A first playthrough of the game will take around six to eight hours, depending on how often you die. However, an extremely generous checkpoint system gets you right back into action with only a bit of time lost. Even during boss encounters, as they change forms, a checkpoint will save your spot so you don't have to constantly do the same thing over and over again. One of the standout features of Bramble, the Mountain King is its use of Nordic folklore as a basis for its story and world building. The game does an excellent job of immersing players in this world, with a narrator detailing significant story moments and the game's environments and creatures accurately reflecting Nordic fables. The attention to detail in the game's visuals and sound design only serves to enhance this immersive experience. Despite its linear structure, the game manages to keep players engaged with its constantly evolving gameplay mechanics. From platforming to puzzle solving, the game features a variety of gameplay elements that keep things fresh and interesting. The use of the glowing stone as a tool for exploration and combat is particularly noteworthy, as it constantly evolves throughout the game, adding new layers to Ole's arsenal. The game's difficulty is well balanced, with a generous checkpoint system that ensures players never have to repeat the same sections over and over again. The bosses are challenging but never unfair, with each encounter requiring a unique approach and strategy. Additionally, the game's length is just right, with the first playthrough taking around six to eight hours, depending on the player's skill level. While the game does have a few minor flaws, such as clunky controls and occasional transition issues, they are minor quibbles in an otherwise excellent package. Bramble. The Mountain King is a beautiful atmospheric horror adventure that manages to deliver a compelling story, engaging gameplay, and a genuinely scary experience that will leave players with nightmares. 
It's a must-play for fans of horror games and Nordic folklore. The World of Bramble. The Mountain King is also filled with intricate details that add to the immersion of the game. From the design of the creatures to the landscapes, everything is meticulously crafted to create a cohesive and believable world. The attention to detail is especially evident in the Nordic folklore elements, as the game does an excellent job of bringing these stories to life. One of the things that sets Bramble the Mountain King. Apart from other horror games is its use of sound design. The game relies heavily on ambient noises and sound effects to create a sense of tension and unease. Each area of the game has its own distinct soundscape, with subtle changes in the background noises as you progress through the game. The music is also exceptional, with a hauntingly beautiful score that perfectly complements the game's atmosphere. In terms of gameplay, Bramble, the Mountain King does a great job of balancing challenge with accessibility. The platforming and combat mechanics are straightforward enough for casual players to pick up, but still offer enough depth to keep experienced players engaged. The game's checkpoint system is also very forgiving, allowing you to quickly get back into the action after dying. One area where Bramble the Mountain King could have improved is in its puzzle design. While the puzzles are cleverly placed and never overused, there aren't enough of them to really make them feel like a significant part of the game. More puzzles would have added another layer of depth to the gameplay and made the experience feel more well-rounded. Despite its flaws, Bramble, The Mountain King is an exceptional horror game that is well worth your time. It's a game that will leave you on edge and give you nightmares, but it's also a game that will keep you engaged from start to finish. The game's immersive world, excellent sound design, and balanced gameplay all come together to create an unforgettable experience. If you're a fan of horror games or just looking for something new to play, Bramble. The Mountain King is a must-play. Despite its linearity, the game manages to keep the player engaged by constantly introducing new gameplay mechanics and environments. Ola's evolving arsenal of abilities, including the stone that can function as a flashlight, shoot out a beam of light, or turn into a sword, keeps the gameplay from becoming monotonous. Furthermore, the game features a variety of puzzles that require the player to use their wits to progress, and each boss encounter requires a unique approach, ensuring that players can't reuse tactics. In terms of gameplay length, the first playthrough of Bramble, the Mountain King will take approximately six to eight hours, depending on how often the player dies. Despite the game's difficulty, the developers have included a generous checkpoint system that allows the player to resume play from a recent checkpoint without losing much progress. Even during boss encounters, the game will save the player's spot so that they don't have to repeat the same actions over and over again. In retrospect, it seems like the developers implemented these features to ensure that every player experiences the game's narrative fully. They clearly have a story to tell, and one that they hold dear, and they want each player to experience this story even though it may give them nightmares. Nonetheless, there is an adequate balance of challenge throughout the game, even without difficulty options, and the story remains digestible despite traversing some unsettling topics. Bramble. The Mountain King is a visually stunning game with a fairy tale world that features beautiful set pieces, as well as dark and gloomy stretches of land. Sound plays a vital role in delivering the game's horror experience, with each area featuring audible movement and forest life. The music only adds to the immersive atmosphere, with some tracks enhancing the gameplay's tense or serene moments. The final boss theme is particularly brilliant and deserves a mention. Overall, Bramble, The Mountain King is an exceptional horror adventure that delivers nail-biting moments of gameplay without overstaying its welcome. The narrative and characters immerse the player in a world heightened by the excellent sound design and environments. It may cause a few sleepless nights, but it's a game that is well worth playing.